Hi, I'm Han Jun. This video is the introduction of my final year project. My final year project has the name Deep Image Enhancement, and it was supervised by Prof. Chen Chen Shloy. In this project, the work has been separated into two parts. The first part focuses on the image denoising, while the second part focuses on blind image restoration. Now I'm going to elaborate the work on the first part, which is image denoising. At the beginning, let me introduce the background of image denoising first. Image denoising is to reduce the unpleasant noise in the input image and produce a visually clean image. In real life, the unpleasant noise can arise from various scenarios such as dark environment and imperfect camera sensors. In this project, I make use of Glean network to perform the denoising task. Glean represents generative lantern bank, which is a method aims to perform image super resolution. In this project, I further extend the use of Glean by modifying the architecture and thus apply to the task of image denoising. This is the result of PSNR values listed in this table, together with the comparison of other models. From this table, we can notice that the highest PSNR value comes from DNCNN. This is due to the fact that DNCNN is trained with pixel-wise rules only. However, the actual output of Glean appear to be more realistic especially the small details such as the hairy part and the wrinkles. This is the result from the same noise level. For models training with no gain, they fail to restore the texture of the eyebrow, for example. While for models training with gain, they fail to restore the face image with the same identity. Therefore, overall, Glean model produces perceptually pleasant denoised result. This is the result from different noise levels. As we can see, Glean model is able to keep both the identity of the human face as well as the little details. These differences make the output of Glean being more realistic and other models being fake. In addition, I performed an image manipulation on the input images, which are image shifting and image rotation. The results of the image shifting and image rotation shows that even a small change of shifting one pixel or rotation of one degree also lead to a huge drop in PSNR value. Therefore, we can say that even a subtle change in the input could lead to substantial changes in the output. Motivated by this, I shifted the focus to the task of real-world face image restoration. And this is the second part of my project. The background of blind face image restoration aims to restore the degraded face images to a realistic and high-quality face images. Since the real-life images are acquired from unconstrained scenarios, the degradations of these images are complex and unknown. Therefore, this task is being challenging while interesting. In the second part, to eliminate the model-specific effects, another model named GPAN is chosen. In the following sections, I will discuss the method to improve the performance of the original GPAN. As we can see from the result, GPAN is not robust to degradations. Therefore, I decide to take out some pre-processing of the input images. The form of image manipulation I choose here is image padding, specifically reflection padding. Reflection padding leads to clearer and more natural details. When the quality of the inputs are good enough, the difference between the original and the reflection padding is minor. Well, when the input images have bad quality, the difference is huge. Intuitively, a blind image restoration model attempts to restore the input images regardless of the degradation. Thus, I hypothesize that by repeatedly applying the model on the input image, the remaining degradations that cannot be removed in the first run could be eliminated. Double G pen enhances the details further. For example, the sharper details in eyes, nose, and mouth. 
the deeper shading to give the face more depth and more texture such as the hair and the beard. These small details make the image more realistic. And here are the results from original G-Pen and the model after the pre-processing. The improvement for bad quality input is huge. To conclude, I extend the use of Glean on image denoising, analysis the sensitivity of Glean against the subtle changes in the input. Also, inspired by my findings, a blind face image restoration task is taken out, and the results are obviously improved. And that's all for the video. Thank you.